The Prime Minister led a meeting to boost the development of the 500 kV Circuit 3 line projects. Ukraine uncovered significant corruption in buying military ammunition. Leaders from Nagi and province met with Nagi and residents in Hanoi. Today, January 28, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính led an online conference to boost the advancement of the 500 kV circuit line project running from Quảng Trạch, Quảng Bình to Phố Nội, Hưng Yên. The project spanned 519 kilometers starting from Quảng Trạch Electric City Center and ending at Phố Nội 500 kV transformer station. With an investment of about 22,356 billion VND, although the project faced delays, it is set to kick off in the late 2023 and early 2024. Currently, all sub-projects have completed necessary preparation and construction is underway. However, challenges persist, including slow site clearance and unfavorable construction locations. During the conference, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính urged all relevant units to focus on overcoming challenges, ensuring timely project completion with high quality. Additionally, he emphasized the importance of increasing communication efforts to have local communities and individuals fully grasp the significance and advantages of the project. The recent data from the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, revealed that 13,000 individuals in the U.S. have lost their lives due to influenza in this year's epidemic seasons. According to America CDC, over the course of the flu season, spanning from October 2023 to the present, 18 million people in the U.S. have been infected, with 210,000 cases requiring hospitalization. The flu epidemic is complex and spreading across most regions of the United States. The CDC strongly recommends influenza vaccination for everyone aged six months and older. Meanwhile, an increasing number of U.S. hospitals are implementing measures such as mandatory mask wearing and restrictions on patient visits in the context that the aftermath of the Christmas and New Year holidays has seen a significant rise in cases of COVID-19, flu, and various other diseases. This morning, January 28, leader from Nghệ An province held a meeting in Hanoi with Nghệ An residents who are working and retired. Over the past year, the Nghệ An Countryside Association in Hanoi has organized impactful events focused on their homeland. Notably, they have pledged support for over 650 houses for those facing housing difficulties in the province amounting to 33.3 billion VND. Secretary of Provincial Party Committee Thai Tengui expressed gratitude for the support and promised continued efforts in leading work and receiving suggestions from people to enhance gain and prosperity. The meeting also acknowledged individuals in the association for their achievements and positive contribution to society across various fields. Coming up next are some updated news. On January 27, Ukraine's security service, SBU, revealed a corruption scheme related to the military's ammunition purchase, valued at around $40 million United States dollars. The investigation implicated officials from the Ministry of Defense and managers of the weapons supplier, Lviv Arsenal. They allegedly embezzled nearly 1.5 billion hryvnia in the acquisition of 100,000 mortar shells for the army. Shockingly, soldiers were deprived of ammunition, and funds were diverted to foreign accounts. The SBU has arrested a suspect attempting to cross the Ukrainian border. Recent data indicates that attracting foreign investment continues to be a great driving force for the Vietnamese economy. In the first three weeks of January 2024, the total newly registered, adjusted and contributed capital reached more than US$2.36 billion, a 40% increase from the same period last year. 
Vietnam's proactive participation in new generation trade agreements is enhancing the investment environment, leading to vibrant foreign investment flows. The outlook for 2024 is optimistic, highlighting Vietnam's positive economic trajectory. As of now, the African swine fever situation in GHEN has eased, and the number of infected pigs has significantly dropped. Moving into 2024, the province expects fewer outbreaks, and though none from 2023 have officially ended, they have been limited, mostly affecting one to two animals per outbreak. The consensus is that African swine fever in GHEN is under control. However, with the upcoming Lunar New Year, there's an anticipated increase in pig transportation, trade, and slaughter. To maintain control, local authorities are urged to intensify disease surveillance, promptly identify outbreaks, and take swift action in confined areas. Additionally, there is a need to strengthen oversight on the transportation of pigs and pig products. With just over 10 days until the Lunar New Year's adapt in 2024, locals are tending to their flowers in preparation for the test market. Thankfully, the weather is favorable, contributing to the healthy growth of the plants. This positive outlook suggests a promising flower season that is anticipated to bring in significant income for the community. As the year came to a close, with favorable weather, Numerous gardeners took the opportunity to expand their flower planting areas for the upcoming Lunar New Year. This year, Nguyen Van An's family, in particular, bravely expanded their flower cultivation to over six acres. Benefiting from the favorable weather conditions, the flowers grew well, and virtually all of them have already been pre-ordered by traders. This year, we will supply from 20 to 25,000 trees, for the GHEN, Ha Tin, Quang Bin, Quang Tri markets. Around the 25th of the last lunar month, traders will come to buy. Despite the introduction of many new flower and ornamental plant options in the Tet market in recent years, growers of faded peaches and stone peaches in Nagi and are not concerned about their sales. This is because, in comparison to other flowers, Peach blossoms remain a traditional and widely displayed flower for almost every family during Tet. Gien has three villages with nearly 300 households growing flowers and ornamental plants. People choose the right time for the Tet flower market. Aside from keeping an eye on market prices, gardeners and flower businesses in Nagi and are closely monitoring the weather. They adjust their care routines to ensure that flowers bloom during the Tet holiday, meeting the demands of their customers. Store owners note that purchasing power has been on the rise in the past two months, and flower prices have remained relatively stable. This is the end of the show today. Thank you for watching.